Today's New Testament reading is the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, the 17th chapter. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John his brother and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them, Tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. And the disciples asked him, Then why do the scribes say that first Elijah must come? He answered, Elijah does come, and he will restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him, but did to him whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man will certainly suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them, of John the Baptist. This is the word of the Lord. For today's meditation on God's word, we welcome Pastor Sean Smith. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one but Jesus only. Peter and his two companions fell to the ground in overpowering fright when God spoke to them in his unapproachable majesty from the bright cloud on the Mount of Transfiguration. But all terror left them when they felt Jesus touching them and heard his reassuring voice, Rise and have no fear. Lifting up their eyes, they no longer beheld the vision of heaven's rapturous glory. They saw no one except Jesus only. Significant in this event which captivates our thoughts is the fact that Jesus remains. He is still with them as Peter, James, and John return to the colorless dull, disappointing, and frustrated daily life. From the sublime majesty of the glorious transfiguration, Jesus and his disciples descend into the abject misery of life's bitterness and brokenness. But in him who remains, they were sufficiently and abidingly blessed. Blessed also are we through a steadfast faith in Jesus only. For blessed are we if, In all the terrifying conditions that may surround us in life or in death, we see no man or anything except Jesus only. When the terrifying light of God's accusing and condemning law shines into our trembling hearts, blessed are we if we see no merit or worth in ourselves, but see Jesus only and his all-sufficient and redeeming grace. When disaster and terror disturb our peace and fills us with fear, Blessed are we when we see Jesus only and hear his comforting voice. Take heart, I have overcome the world. When great misfortune comes upon us and it seems as if God and friends have forsaken us, blessed are we if we see Jesus only and hear his reassuring voice. Be not afraid, I will never leave you nor forsake you. In the hour of death, when our agonizing soul cries out in fear, Lord, save me, I am perishing. Blessed are we, if with our closing eyes we still see Jesus standing near and hear him say, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me will not die, but live with me in my Father's glory. Amidst all the trials of our hectic existence, Jesus abides the same yesterday, today, and forever. And blessed are we when the sure hope of heaven, which we have through Jesus only, moves us daily to set our attention on the things above, until we shall lift up our eyes and see Jesus only, our Savior, who comes in glory. 
Amen.